Welcome to Yoga Express, <clears throat> your virtual stretch clinic that helps you move the body to still the mind. As you can tell, I still have that sexy voice because thanks to a cold that I've been um, nurturing for the last couple of weeks, my name is Banu Suresh. I'm your host for this program. Josiane Hurd, our director, is going to get our body music up in just a moment. So Josiane, if we can have that sound up just a little bit. <coughs> body music for this program has been created by Cesar de Para. Opening track, the three ohms that you hear, are from Sapta Tandava, the first track from Sapta Tandava. And this program is taped in the studios of Manhattan Neighborhood Network. We air five days a week. We tape once, sometimes twice a week. We air Monday through Friday at 1.30 in the afternoon on Time Warner 57, RCN 84, and Fios 35. <coughs> That's 1.30 Eastern Standard Time. Besides this yoga fitness program and our amazing participants and special guests who we have from time to time, we also have a website, www.yogaexpress.com, Y-O-G-A-X-P-R-E-S-S.com. So if you'd like to come and stretch with us, you need some information about the program, you need the taping schedule, participation guidelines, go to our homepage. Everything is there and it leads from the homepage. You can also see excerpts of all our programs, well not all just yet, about 16 episodes of our show on my TV episodes page and there you'd see very familiar faces like Sandy Kane to my immediate left. Sandy is also popularly known as Naked Cowgirl, Sandy. Yes, it's such a joy to be here again. Uh, this is my third uh, time. Third taping, buddy. You've uh, been in many episodes. Oh, yes. About eight yeah. or nine episodes. Right, and uh, just such a joy <coughs> to be with um, a professional yoga person like you. I've learned so much about okay. breathing and about stretching. Um, I have taken many yoga classes, but you still, yoga never ceases to... To just you brought up a very good point. Just before we started taping today, you talked about chi, that someone had shared some The Tai Chi. Tai Chi. The Chi is energy. Oh. And that's actually a very good point that he brought up because I'm glad that we have a chance to share it with our viewers. Um, what happens is, in Tai Chi, tell me what, what you've been told. Well, um, uh, in fact, it, 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 you know, public access television is so great because it's all about, you know, you can't get at anything else like public access. Anyway, he was on Tai Chi and the, the interview was really good. And he said about breathing, he said if you breathe deeply and right. down to your stomach, it's, it's an actual exercise. It is. And for me, it, it's wonderful because I, he I hear a lot of voices, a lot of negative neg negativity. So now, especially after meeting you and hearing him, I just take deep breaths. It's about you know? muscle control. What you're doing right now, what you did, you compacted your abdominal region, you inhale through the lungs, so you're enhancing lung power, you're tightening your abs. So you, you know how you do, you go to the uh, gym and you do ab strengtheners, right? This girl looks like she has been working out at the gym. We're coming <laughs> exactly. to you in just a moment. Exactly. So what, when you want to relax, what you would do is fill your belly with air and exhale. So your exhales need to be longer than the inhales. When you want to enhance lung power, you'd open up the chest region so you take deeper inhales. Exactly. I just learned something. <coughs> and it's also great for your mental health problems. It is. That you just, once you concentrate and focus on breathing, you, you know, you, 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 the voices stop and you just kind of focus in on breathing and having a great exercise. That's and right. A lot of negativity is just canceled out. And you have no room for other voices, uh, uh, voices other than your own. Ex or or ex-husbands, that's right. <laughs> to my extreme right, we have Gina Lu. Yes. Gina, welcome to the show. I know you're new Thank to you. Yoga Express. I hope you have a good experience. We hope you'll come back. Mm -hmm. Like I mentioned, you do look very fit. So have you <laughs> been working you. out at the gym? I do. Um, I don't work out constantly or consistently each right. week, but I definitely try to get in the gym, get in the cardio as many times per week. And I also have a personal trainer, um, okay. MH Fitness, and he's great. I mean, he's helped me through knee issues <coughs> and right. just toning and, and mm. getting in shape. Because it is important. It's important as we get older yes. to um, weight train because Could it I'm helps. talking about getting older. Where are <laughs> you? <laughs> You're spring chicken compared to us. All right. <laughs> because oh, that's five. it helps with, um, you know, bone issues. It does. Definitely. So I'm really trying to get that to be a habit now. 
but um, yeah. You're I trying do. to prevent. Exactly. You're trying to avoid getting exactly. older, are you? <laughs> no. But that what you're doing is just the right thing. What you want to do is build up your reserves. Right. So you want to stay strong while you still are healthy. Right. So that you can welcome old age with all the joy that you had in your younger years. So. Right. And still, I, I got to say that uh, you can work at harder even when you're older. So because you yeah. know you have the knowledge. Please help yourself. You have the knowledge that, you know, Behind many the years camera. of of exercise um, has taught me whether it's ballet, tap, jazz, now it's spin and and, and yoga and uh, Pilates and um, kickbox and urban rebounding is, did you ever hear that? No, we're going to talk about that in the next episode. Tell us a little more about that. Josiane, I believe we have another crew, Omari Stradayan. Yeah. Uh, that's O M A R I S T R I D I R O N. I think you got that right. Say again? Is this a rehearsal? No, it's not. We're actually on air, but that's fine because we're a casual show, so we. This, is, this gives us, our viewers, a taste of what we do right here. Reality. We make adaptation. Yes, it's a reality yoga show. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks to our crew, Josian Hurd, our director. Atik Mirza, our tech director, and Omari Stradine on camera right here. <laughs> Richard Swanson, on, uh, uh, who is responsible for all the gobos and the lights and the setups. Thanks to all of the, all of the great teamwork. And I haven't forgotten to introduce Lana Parr behind me. I'm gonna have, we're going to hear her voice in just a moment. I'm going to have her give the, uh, say the last, have the last word. But thanks to all of them, this episode has been made possible today. So if we didn't have this great teamwork, we wouldn't have Yoga Express on today. So remember, come here. It's more of a family atmosphere. You can literally bring your friends and family. Lana Parr to my immediate right. Lana, welcome back. Thank you. And the boom mic is up there, so feel free. If you want to say something, it'll pick it up. I know your voice is soft, but tell us how you felt the last time. Oh, I felt very good the last time. I was, I was amazed, you know. I, I, I could actually get down and... Right, I remember the first Get episode down. you didn't want to come down because you... No, well, I was afraid you, because uh, I'm in my heart pain, you know. Right. But um, it, it worked out well, and uh, once I got started and followed everybody else... It became know, an addiction, right? I wasn't as good as anybody else, but... It, no, that's not I, it. That's what it is. Remember what this friend of mine told me? Judy Jacobs, she said, it's okay to be average. It's yes. not okay to be mediocre. So it doesn't matter if you're average compared to everyone around you. Because I know I'm always average compared to everybody else. But I do the best I can. So you, you're doing the best well, you can. Well, not only am I a lot older than any, either of you three. That's but, all right. Um, We're all going to catch up. No probably worries. Probably more, more knee surgeries, you know. Welcome back to the show, Thank Lana. You. It's always Thank nice you. to have you. Thank you. You have a great voice, too. I love your accent. <laughs> Very nice and soft. Great voice. Here's what we're going to do today. We're going to take all the four of us are going to take you through the sun salutation. Typically, when we start the week's taping, we start with the sun salutation, move from standing, seated, prone, and supine. We tape about four episodes per taping. That way, we get a full workout by doing the whole sequence. And when we have a special guest, they take us through their own little journey. So they share with us what they know. So today, I'm going to take you through the sun salutation. Lana. Sun salutation is mostly standing, yes. but whenever we make, need to make the adaptation, you know how to do it by now. So I'm going to trust you to come on the mat and join us. Let's all stand up. <coughs> Those of you who are watching, and uh, Josiane, could you have the music up just a little bit? It's very, very soft, and it spooks me out not to have some music. Heels together, toes apart. I'm going to have Sa Lana and I are going to go back. Sandy and Jean, Gina, if you want to come forward, so we stagger ourselves, we won't hit each other. Heels together, toes slightly apart. <coughs> palms in front of your chest. Press your palms in, elbows are raised. Remember, when you press your palms in and your elbows are raised, your mind learns to stay in the moment. You could experiment with yourself. You could flop your elbows down, close your eyes, and just watch how your mind wanders to your evening shopping list or whatever else you have planned for this afternoon. So press it in, focus, and stay. Keep your mind right there. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, fold from the hip. Place your palms six to eight inches in front of your feet. Take the left leg back. Bend your knees if you need to. Bend your knees to get your palms to the ground. 
Very nice. And then take your right leg back. Once you have both your feet in the back, exhale, press your heels all the way down. Dip your head between your biceps. <coughs> You're doing well, Lana. Lana is doing the smart thing. She's making her adaptations. And she also has socks on, so notice that she actually does have rubber dots under her socks. That gives her traction on the mat. So if you want to keep your socks on, so does Sandy. I think she's got rubber dots as well. Sandy, I hope you do. Yes. Good. You want to be safe. You need traction. Now, dip your head between your biceps. Keep exhaling through the belly. Now, when you're ready, inhale. Bring the left foot between the hands. And Lana, make your adaptations. Very gently, lower the right knee to the floor. Uncurl your toes in the right foot and ease off. Place both palms on the left knee. Lana, you want to try and lower your right knee very gently. <coughs> That's fine. Stay where you are. It'll build arm strength too. You need to hold that for the next two postures. So test yourself. Exhale, the three of us, the rest of us are going to dip our hip. Exhale and dip. Left knee is up. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, dip your right elbow over the left knee. Place your left palm, Lana, you can stay there. Left palm over your right. Look up at the raised elbow and hold. And as you were asking, Sandy, when we say hold, it's hold your posture, not your breath. <coughs> you should feel a wonderful twist of your obliques on the left side and a beautiful stretch of your obliques. Obliques are your midpoint, midriff. Beautiful stretch on the left side on the right side. Inhale, let's come out of that. Both palms beside the left foot. Curl your toes in in the right. Take the left to meet the right. This time, Lana, join us. Take your left foot all the way back. Very nice. Lana is especially strong in the arms, I've noticed. You're able to hold this posture. Beautiful. Knees, chest and chin. Exhale and dip. Knees to the floor. Exhale. Let's dip. Inhale, glide out into Cobra. And Lana, that's fine. Stay there. You want to try and bring your chest close to the floor? That's it. Okay. And every now and then you can come up if you want to relax a little bit. Press with your palms. Press with the tops of your feet. And then use your low back to bring yourself up. Inhale. Let's come up. And then to test if you're really using your back, you might want to press with the tops of your feet, take your palms off of the floor. When you do that, you will come down a little bit and that's perfectly okay. You want to just make sure you're using your back. Palms back on the floor, forehead to the ground, curl your toes in. Inhale, lift your buttocks all the way up. Let's come up. You too, Lana. Exhale, press your heels down. Inhale, bring your right foot and then the left between the hands. <coughs> Do it in stages, that's okay. You can walk your feet slowly to your hands. Both palms together. Inhale, come up with a straight back. Exhale and release. While we are in this standing position, you need to know that our pa postures here, we actually stagger these postures. We are holding times are much longer. This is just one side, the left side that we twisted in round one of the sun salutation. We're gonna try and do three rounds so that you're able to memorize the sequence of the sun salutation. And if you practice this once every morning, maybe once in the evening, three rounds of sun salutation in the morning, three rounds in the evening, you've had a full workout already. You've worked every major muscle group, gland and organ in just one simple sequence. Now for the right side, <coughs> press your palms in, Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, fold from the hip. Palms six to eight inches in front of your feet. Take the right leg back first this time, and then the left. That's it, Lana. Bend your knees and then take the right and then the left leg back. Very nice. <clears throat> I'm gonna wait till Lana gets there. Feel the stretch, we're not yet there, Sandy. But all the way up, your buttocks up. We're not there in that. I, I think you like the plank, don't you? <laughs> Inhale, bring the right foot between the hands. <clears throat> Place your left knee on the floor. Uncurl your toes in the left foot. And for you, Lana, you're going to hold it right there. Let's see how long. You did very well on the other side, so try it on this side. Both hands, both palms on the right knee. 
exhale and dip. Right knee is up. Inhale the left hand up. Exhale, dip your left elbow over the right knee. Place your right palm on top of the left. Look up at the raised elbow and hold. You're doing very well, Lana. I can see you're not, there's no tremor at all. Good. Inhale, let's come out of that. Both palms beside the right foot. Curl your toes in and the left. Raise your left knee and Lana. Now, Jainas, take your right foot to meet the left in plank position. <coughs> Good. Knees to the floor. Knees, chest and chin. Exhale and dip. Lana, you can stay there. Inhale, glide out into Cobra. Now, if you want to come as high as uh, uh, Sandy is coming up today, let's try that. Inhale. You need to use a little bit of your palm strength, so let's come up. And then when you learn to use, or not learn, actually, Sandy knows how to use her back. But whenever you're ready to use your back, you may want to lower yourself just a little bit. Press with the tops of your feet. Inhale, engage your low back, tighten your gluteals. Gluteals are your buttocks. Take your palms off of the floor. Now that's when you know for sure that you're using your low back. And we don't always need to use the low back, but if you want to, this is how you test. Palms back on the floor. Join us, uh, Lana. Forehead to the ground, curl your toes in. Inhale, lift your buttocks all the way up. Exhale, press your heels down. Inhale, bring the left foot and then the right. Lana, you want to come up. Bring your buttocks all the way up. You need a hand? I think you can do it. Take your time. And then bring the right foot forward. Very gently walk your way. Very good. Place both palms together. That's okay. You don't have to place your palms together, Lana. You want to just try and come up. How are you doing? Good. Good. Inhale. Let's come up with a straight back. We'll keep an eye on you. Lana has had knee surgery. I think considering that, you're doing very well. Exhale and release. And I want to point out something else that Lana, you did very well. I want to point out something else. Your face is all flush. You know what? That is good because that means all the blood is right. rushing to your face, which is actually good because if you notice, we are able to exercise the rest of our body, but our face really doesn't get any exercise. So, you know, there's always good in everything we do. We can extract the best out of ourselves. So, you ready to try the next one? Yes. Use your adaptations. You're doing very well. And I think you've got a lot of arm strength because you're holding it really long. But lifting, lifting it but, you know, from the floor is pretty hard. It is hard. And if you're in pain, you can always lower it and then come back up again. So, you do it in stages. Yeah, no problem at all. Do it in stages. Allow your body to tell you when you're ready to lower it and take a break. Press your palms in, heels together, and Lana, maybe you and I, you're, you're fine. I'll go back a little bit. Inhale, take your arms up. This is round two, side one. Exhale, fold from the hip. We'll move a little faster this time. Palms six to eight inches in front of your feet. Take your left leg back, and then the right. Exhale, press your heels down, dip your head between your biceps and keep breathing. One deep exhale through the belly. Inhale, bring the left foot between the hands. Lana, you just want to do, that's it, do the modification. Place the right knee on the floor, uncurl your toes in the right foot, both palms on the left knee. <coughs> exhale and dip. Left knee is up. Inhale the right arm up, exhale, dip your right elbow over the left knee, place your left palm on top of the right, look up at the raised elbow and hold. Inhale, let's come out of that, place both palms beside the left foot, curl your toes in in the right, raise your right knee, that's it, both palms, and then take the left foot, Lana, join us, take the left to meet the right. That's it. Take both your feet all the way back. Yes, that's it. Beautiful. Knees, chest and chin to the floor. Knees down first. Exhale and dip. And you can stay there, Lana. Oh, if you want to. Yeah, that's a good adaptation. You're going back at least three quarters. Inhale. Glide out into cobra. Press with the tops of your feet. Let's first come up as high as we can. Use your elbow and your arm strength to hold you up. Now, now we're going to use our low back. Press with the tops of your feet, lower your upper body, and then 
Inhale, that'll help you come up and then do what Gina, Gina is doing. Take your palms off of the floor. Lana, you want to keep your palms down. Palms back on the floor, forehead to the ground. Curl your toes in. Inhale, lift your buttocks all the way up. Exhale, press your heels down. Head between the biceps and hold. When we talk about hold, especially in the downward dog position, in this position, we're talking about holding it for maybe one or two breaths. In the studio, because our holding time is long, your breathing may be pretty deep as well. So one breath is good. Inhale, bring the right foot and then the left between the hands. Both palms together. Inhale, come up with a straight back. Exhale and release. That's round two, side one. We have round two, side two, and the third round, I'll call out the names of each of these postures and that will count as our holding time. So while you're listening to the names, we'll also be holding the postures. Press your palms in, elbows are raised. I keep edging forward. No, no, you're fine where you are, it's me. <laughs> Heels together, toes apart, press your palms in. Stay centered, stay in the moment, inhale. Take your arms up. Now for side two of round two, exhale, fold from the hip. Place your palms six to eight inches in front of your feet, take the left leg back and then the right. <clears throat> exhale, press your heels down, dip your head between your biceps and hold for one breath. Inhale, bring the right foot between the hands this time. Place the left knee on the floor, uncurl your toes in the left foot, both palms on the right knee. Exhale and dip. <coughs> You're trying to bring your right knee forward? Yes. Good, good, keep going. You know, that's one little disadvantage of the rubber dots, but you know I'd rather you are safe, so that's fine. Take your time. Take your time. You'll, you'll get there. I've got a regular pair on as well. <coughs> All right. In the next episode, you're going to have the regular pair on. Hold it. Inhale. The left arm up. Exhale. Dip your left elbow over the right knee. Place your right palm on top of the left and look up at the raised elbow and hold. This time, you'd feel a wonderful twist of your obliques on the right side and a beautiful stretch of your obliques, which is your mid, the muscle at your midpoint, your waist, on the left side. Do you feel that, Gina? Yeah. You do, right? The moment you feel that twist, you know that when you come out of it, you're going to feel totally charged. You're going to feel recharged, very energized. Inhale, let's come out of that. Now you're going to join Lana. Actually, Lana, you're going to join us. Curl your toes in on the left foot. Take your right to the back. Take your right foot to meet the left. Knees, chest and chin to the ground. Exhale and dip. Inhale, glide out into cobra. Then let's try that. Let's try and use our arm strength to come up and then use the tops of your feet, lower your upper body a little bit. Use the tops of your feet, your buttock muscles and your low back and take your palms off of the floor. Keep your elbows close to your body. Very nice. Place both palms on the floor, forehead to the ground, curl your toes in. Inhale, lift your buttocks all the way up. Exhale, press your heels down. Inhale, bring the right foot and then the left between the hands. Very nice, China Slana. Both palms together. Inhale, come up with a straight back. Exhale and release. Take your time. There's another very smart adaptation. I have to point out what Lana just did. That was good. If your leg doesn't come forward to your hands to help you come up, you can take your hands back to your feet. So that's smart too. You did that too. So that was good. And that's good. Your blood is rushing to your head once more, right? If you feel dizzy, you're welcome yeah, to sit it up. Yeah, feeling a bit dizzy. That's fine. You did two full rounds, so why don't you sit down? We'll finish the third round. No problem. <coughs> Lana has had knee surgery in, bo in both the legs, so she has to be ex extra careful. And also, she hasn't practiced yoga before the show, so just... But you're getting there. You're enjoying it, right? That's important. 
Round three, side one. We're going to try and whiz through this time. Heels together, toes apart, press your palms in. Elbows are raised. Namaskarasana. Inhale, take your arms up. Hasta Uttana. Namaskar is prayer. Hasta Uttana. Hands raised. Hasta is hands or arms. Uttana is raised. Exhale, fold from the hip. Pada Hasta. Pada is feet. Hasta is hands. So hands to feet. Both palms in front of your feet. Six to eight inches. Take your left leg back and then the right. Exhale, press your heels down. Head between the biceps. This portion is called Adho Mukha Svanasana in North America or Downward Facing Dog. Literally it translates Adho is downward, Mukha is facing or face and Shwana is dog. The school I came from also calls this Parvat. Parvat is mountain. And you can understand why. We look like a mountain. <laughs> Inhale, bring the left foot between the hands. <coughs> Place the right knee on the floor. We have the credits rolling, so we should be able to do both sides in the same round in this posture. Both hands on the left knee, exhale, and dip. Ashva Sanchala, Ashwini, Ashwini is horse. Ashva Sanchala, like a horse, or equestrian posture. Inhale, the right arm up. Exhale, dip your right elbow over the left knee. Place your left palm on top of the right. Look up at the raised elbow and hold. Now this one is Parsva Kona Namaskara. Kona is corner or twist. Parsva is intense. Namaskara is prayer. Intense prayer twist. Inhale and here's a little trick. Let's switch legs. Both palms beside the left foot. Curl your toes in in the right. Take the left to meet the right. Place the left knee on the floor. Bring the right foot forward. So we're combining both sides are in the same round in the interest of time. Place both palms on your right knee, exhale and dip. Right knee is up, inhale the left arm up, exhale, dip your left elbow over the right knee. Place your right palm on top of the left, look up at the raised elbow. You could do a little bit of a twist, Lana, Turn, hold the back of your chair, that's it. Anything that will give you the twist at your midpoint. Inhale, let's come out of that. Going straight into plank or danda. So place both palms beside the right foot. Curl your toes in in the left. Raise your left knee. Do what Gina did. Take your right foot to meet the left in the back. Plank position. Plank or danda. Knees, chest and chin. Before you bring your chest down, you need to understand. It's called ashtanga namaskara. Ashta anga, eight limbs. Ashta is eight angas limbs. Eight limbs that make contact with the ground. The two hands. Two feet, the two knees, chin, and chest. Exhale and dip. Inhale, glide out into cobra or bhujang. Bhujang is the English translation is cobra. Press with your palms, press with the tops of your feet. Let's come up and then test your low back. Take your palms off of the floor. Palms back on the floor, forehead to the ground, curl your toes in. Inhale, come back into downward facing dog. Exhale, press your heels down. After Bhujang or Cobra, it's the four repeats. Inhale, bring the right foot and then the left between the hands. Pada Hasra. Thanks, Josiane. Keep inhaling. Let's come up. Hasta Uttana. Exhale. And release. It's a wrap. I forgot to thank you guys. Thank you, Paula. Sorry. How do you feel? Oh, you feel yeah, good after the please. two? Yeah, four and a half, please. I'm sorry. I had to... No! <laughs>